Guess who's 18? I'm 18. The 5th of August rocks. Hey everyone! I thought I'd make um, a very short video um, talking to you about 18 things that I've learnt in the 18 years of my life. This idea was actually given to me by a very good friend um, slash blogger, Amy Stutz. She's from the blog and YouTube channel, Sincerely Amy. I'm going to link her channel down below because I think you guys would absolutely love it. She does things like theatre reviews, vlogs, um, she does a lot of travelling, so she's been to Rome, Paris, and she's vlogged. So if you like that sort of thing, I really would recommend you go and subscribe to her. Um, I'm subscribed and we're hoping to do a collaboration in the future. So she gave me this idea to do this 18 things that I've learned throughout my lifetime because she found the idea off a YouTube channel called Klossy. Um, I'm going to link her video down below, but she did a video on it. So Amy then did a blog post on it, which I'll also link down below. And now I'm going to do my video on it because um, it's my birthday today and what better way to celebrate than to look over the 18 things that I've learnt in my lifetime. So with that all said, let's just get started. Comfort zones are boring. You're never going to learn anything by staying in somewhere that you're comfortable. All the best adventures happen outside your comfort zone. Hobbies are so important. It's always good to forget about what you do every single day as a living and just do what you enjoy at the weekends. Personally, my hobby is art. I draw to relax and it always has a positive effect on my mood. Don't take yourself too seriously. It's always more fun to laugh at yourself and that encourages people to laugh at you in a good way rather than in a bad way. The only way to conquer fears is to just go ahead and do it. As much as you might hate it at the time, you'll always look back at it and you'll think, I'm glad I did that, I've learnt from that and you might even find something new that you like to do. Mixing with all ages is really, really good for you. If you stay within your age group for your friends, you won't learn as much, but I've found that mixing with people that are older than me and younger than me gives me new experiences. Some of my best friends and the people I look up to most are actually a lot older than me. Being early is on time, and being on time is late. Don't wear makeup every day. It's time consuming and it makes special occasions not so special anymore when you look exactly the same as you usually would. Not everyone is actually going to like you, but don't change because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who actually do love you and those are the most important people. Do your work as soon as the class is finished so that you actually know what the homework was about. <laughs> I learnt that at school. But I suppose that applies to a work thing. If you do a full day of work and you've got paperwork to do afterwards, you may as well do it then while it's on your mind. Don't judge yourself. A lot of people look at their YouTube videos or their pictures and go, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I hate myself. I'm gonna cut that bit out. But actually, your imperfections are the things that people actually like more about you. Who wants a perfect human being? Humans are made for error and imperfection. Don't skip meals. You need to fuel yourself for the day. And the only way to do that is to have regular meal. Bring your phone charger with you. There have been so many times where I've looked at a plug socket on the wall and thought, damn it, I could have bought my phone charger and now my phone battery is dead. Bring a sketchbook with you on the train. It makes the journey go a lot quicker. Take care of yourself. You are just as important as the things that you have to do. Invest time in yourself. Your body is the thing that's making your life happen. And if you don't look after that, then you're not gonna be able to do the things that you wanna do. Know when to let the grudge go. There's no point holding on. Don't worship celebrities too much. We all have that one celebrity where we wish we could be them or we wish we could be friends with them. But don't forget, every life is equal. They are no more valuable than you are. We're all human. Collect SD cards, they come in so handy. It's the people that fill the house that makes the house a home. You can make anything homely if you fill it with the right things and the right vibes. And that was my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thank you to Amy for suggesting this video. I really like this idea. If any of your birthdays are coming up, make sure you do this tag as well because I'd really like to know everything that you've learned. Thanks for watching.